Hi, and welcome back to the Geeky Boomer. I am Pixel Pia, your host. Today's topic is something that interests me a lot, and that is how tech have changed the entertainment industry. Remember the days when you had to wait for your favorite TV show to air? Or when you were rushing to blockbusters before all copies of the latest movie ran out. Times have changed. And today, we're diving into the landscape of entertainment, of movies, music, gaming, sports, and much more. And how that has changed thanks to technology. But let's go back in history. We can't ignore the era of the radio. The 1920s brought us the golden age of radio, a time when families would huddle around the radio set, listening to live broadcasts of music shows, news, or even plays. Radio was, in a sense, The original streaming service, wasn't it? Fast forward to the 1950s and television entered the scene, reducing the radio to a secondary player in most households. TV wasn't just an evolution of the radio. TV was a revolution. For the first time, entertainment became visual and communal. Shows like I Love Lucy and events like the moon landing could be experienced together as a family or even as a nation. The 60s and 70s saw the rise of color television, which reminds me of when I, back in Sweden, was nine years old in 1967. And my father bought our first color TV. Back then, there was no program in color in Sweden. The only thing that we could see in color was the test picture. A red-haired girl with freckles. And I remember how our neighbors came to our home just to see that test picture. It's hard to believe when we think of what we can consume today. In the 60s and 70s, film technology also started advancing with techniques like Panavision and surround sound. The first VCR came onto the market and suddenly we could record shows and movies. And this was groundbreaking. Now we could skip the advertisements. Now imagine this. It's the 1980s and along comes this shiny compact object called CD. No more vinyl scratching or cassette tapes getting stuck in the player. Crystal clear sound became a reality and mixing took on a whole new meaning. We even saw the rise of video game consoles like Nintendo Entertainment Systems, transforming living rooms into virtual arcades. Then the 90s kicked in. The internet started making waves. And everything began to change rapidly. CDs and DVDs replaced tapes. And by the late 90s, We had Napster challenging the way we consumed music. DVRs entered the picture allowing us to time shift our TV watching. And suddenly we were no longer slaves to the programming schedule. In parallel, the gaming world was undergoing its own evolution. We transitioned from arcades and home consoles to PC gaming, thanks to titles like Doom and Warcraft. Online multiplayer environments 
started appearing, and the term MMORPG, Massively Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game, became a part of our vocabulary, thanks to games like Ultima Online and EverQuest. And let's not forget about the explosion of cable and satellite TV, offering us hundreds of channels, but ironically, making it even harder to find something good to watch. This era gave us MTV, HBO and CNN, changing our expectations of what TV could offer. And that was just the tip of the iceberg. As we rolled into the 21st century, tech changes came thick and fast. Now that we have taken a quick tour through the past, let's buckle up as we navigate through the digital revolution. We're exploring how technology has redefined the entertainment landscape. We've already taken a trip down memory lane, visiting the eras of radio, television, and the early internet. Now let's zoom into the different areas of entertainment. And let's start with film and TV. The silver screen and the TV were the twin titans of traditional entertainment. But as we know, traditional is a term we use lightly these days. Let's start by talking about something that really changed the film industry. Streaming services. Remember when Friday night meant a trip to Blockbuster or your local video store? Now we have the likes of Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and Disney Plus at our fingertips. You don't even have to leave your couch. The advent of streaming services have revolutionized how we consume digital media, providing us with an endless library of options available at the click of a button. But it's not just about convenience. Streaming services has also become content creators competing with traditional production studios. Think of it hits like Stranger Things or The Mandalorian. These aren't just shows. They are cultural phenomena born in the club. And moving on to another game changer, CGI or Computer-generated imagery. Remember watching Jurassic Park for the first time and feeling like those dinosaurs were real? Or the awe oh, you felt watching Avatar? That's CGI work. Not only has CGI allowed for more visual, stunning and imaginative storytelling, but it's also open doors for indie filmmakers. Thanks to more affordable software, even low-budget films can now incorporate high-quality special effects. And let's not forget about HD, 4K and even 8K resolution. I mean, you can now see every wrinkle on an actor's face. How do I look? Whether that's good or bad, that's up to you. And 3D movies. Though this trend has had its ups and downs. By the way, anyone remember the 3D glasses with red and blue lenses from the 80s? Yeah, we have come a long way since then. One more point before we move on. The shift towards streaming has also led to a golden age of storytelling. Miniseries and long-form narratives 
are flourishing, giving storytellers a broader canvas and audiences a more in-depth experience. I mean, who among us hasn't binge-watched an entire series in a weekend? In short, technology hasn't just changed film and TV. It's transformed how we relate to them. We're not just passive viewers anymore. We're engaged participants, curators of our own entertainment experience. Now, let's take a closer look at the music industry. Let's begin with the seismic shift that turned the music industry on its head. We're talking about downloadable songs, streaming, and a universe of possibilities opened up by technology. Ah, the MP3. Remember the magic of fitting hundreds of songs in your pocket with the first iPod. That little device changed how we thought about music collections. Gone were the days of bulky CD wallets and Walkmans. And fast forward to today with services like Spotify, Apple Music and Amazon Music Unlimited. We have entire libraries available at our fingertips. No more buying entire albums for just one or two songs. And you can even create and share your playlists. The personal DJ in all of us has been unleashed. Now let's talk about the production side. Out to tune. Love it or hate it. It has become a staple in the industry. Allowing artists to fine tune their performances in post production, or sometimes create an entire new sonic atmosphere. And it's not just auto tune. Digital audio workstations, or DAWs, have democratized music production. What once required a high end studio can now be done on a laptop. Bedroom p- producers are churning out chart toppers. The barriers to entry have never been lower. But what about live music in the age of social distancing? Enter virtual concerts, a concept that gained momentum during the pandemic, but shows no signs of slowing down. Artists are performing live in video games, like Travis Scott's astronomical event in Fortnite. Or through VR headsets, we are redefining what it means to attend a concert. And let's not underestimate the role of social media. Platforms like TikTok are now hit makers. A catchy tune can go viral overnight, turning unknown artists into stars. Just look at the story of Old Town Road by Lil Nas X. It's a brave new world for music discovery. The digital revolution has transformed not only how we listen to music, but also how it's created, how it's shared, and even how it becomes popular. We've come a long way from vinyl records and mixtapes. And who knows what the next big innovation will be. So, after looking at TV, film and music, let's talk a little bit about gaming. Oh, how far we have come from the pixelated days of Pong and Space Invaders. The gaming world has been an ever-changing landscape, arguably one of the most dynamic sectors affected by technology. The introduction of online multiplayer capabilities 
was a game changer. Games became social hubs, spaces to meet friends, and even, believe it or not, places to find love. With titles like World of Warcraft and Fortnite, gamers can engage with others across the globe. Participating in collaborative quests or competitive battles. And let's not forget about social gaming platforms like Twitch, where gamers not only play but also broadcast their gameplay. It's become a form of entertainment and even a lucrative career for some. And what's that in your pocket? A phone? Or perhaps an entire arcade. Mobile gaming has made it so that everyone can be a gamer. You don't need a $2,000 PC rig to engage in high-quality gaming experiences. Titles like Candy Crush and Among Us has become part of mainstream culture, offering bite-sized deeply engaging experiences. And if we are talking tech, we can't skip over virtual reality and augmented reality. From the Oculus Rift to the Pokemon Go, these technologies are blurring the lines between the virtual and the real. Immersive experiences are becoming more common And it's not just for gaming. These technologies are finding applications in education, healthcare, and beyond. With the start of powerful game engines like Unity and Unreal, even indie developers can craft intricate worlds that can rival those of big studios. The democratization of game development has led to an explosion of creativity and storytelling that we could only dream of a couple of decades ago. We traveled from the arcade to the cloud, from single player to massive multiplayer, and from joystick to haptic feedback controllers. The future of gaming is not just about better graphics, or more realistic physics. It's about redefining the very nature of play, interaction, and storytelling. But there are other parts of entertainment. And next, we're going to take a look at literature. Oh, the smell of a new book. The crackle of pages being turned. These are things many of us cherish. But just like with other forms of entertainment, technology has ushered in a new chapter for literature as well. Remember the first time you saw someone reading an e-book on a Kindle? It was a bit jarring, wasn't it? But e-books have brought about a democratization of reading. You can carry an entire library in your pocket and instantly download the latest releases or timeless classics, plus adjustable text sizes and fonts make reading accessible to more people. The environmental impact can't be ignored. Ebooks saves trees and reduce the carbon footprint associated with manufacturing and shipping physical books. And let's talk about the revolution on the creator side. Self-publishing. Before, aspiring authors had to impress gatekeepers, agents, editors, and publishers. But platforms like Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing and Ingram Sparks 
have given writers the tools to publish themselves. Print-on-demand technology has made it cost-efficient to print physical copies as well. This democratization has its pros and its cons. More voices are being heard, but it also means there's a lot more content to sift through to find those hidden gems. And what about reading while you do your household chores or while you drive to work? Audiobooks and literature-focused podcasts have risen in popularity thanks to smartphones and streaming technology. Narrators bring an added layer of depth to stories, and some audiobooks even features full cast music and sound effects. And let's not forget the impact of social media and online communities. Websites like Goodreads or apps like Audible allows readers to review books, share recommendations, and even connect with authors. Literature has become a social experience, even if you're reading in the solitude of your own home. So while technology has dramatically shifted how we publish, distribute, and consume literature, the core essence remains the same, storytelling. Technology has simply given us more avenues to explore, embrace, and enhance that storytelling experience. So far, we have talked about film, TV, music, gaming, and literature. But what about the oldest form of entertainment? The one that started it all. I'm talking about live performance and theater. So let's talk about those. When we think of theater, it's easy to conjure up Images of Shakespearean actors on a wooden stage, belting out lines under the flicker of candlelight. But oh, how times have changed. The spotlight is now on technological innovations that have truly transformed the theatrical experience. First off, let's talk about set designs and visual effects. Digital projection and advanced lighting techniques have made it possible to create more dynamic and immersive environments on stage. Imagine watching The Phantom of the Opera with realistic projections of the Paris Opera House or attending a Broadway show where the stage transforms in real time through LED screens. This is not just a feast for the eyes, it's also practical. These technologies make touring with shows easier and more cost effective. And then there's the sound. Gone are the days when you needed to shout from the diagonal to reach the last row. Today, subtle lapel mics and advanced sound systems ensure that every whisper, every nuance in the actor's voice is crystal clear no matter where you are seated. The pandemic era ushered in an unexpected change live streaming of performances. While it can never replace the experience of being physically present, live streaming has made theater accessible to those who couldn't otherwise attend, either due to distance or other barriers. Platforms like Broadway HD are offering on-demand streaming services for theater 
enthusiasts. While purists might scoff off that idea, these platforms are widening the audience and making theater more inclusive. Last but not least, let's talk about interactive theater. Virtual reality and augmented reality are making their way into the theater, offering truly immersive experiences. Imagine walking through a play rather than just watching it interacting with characters, and even affecting the outcome. So while the essence of theater, storytelling, character, and emotion remains constant, the ways in which these elements are delivered are continually evolving, thanks to technological advancements. And now let's talk a little bit about Social media as entertainment. Social media has become a parallel universe of its own. A realm where everyone can be a star, a critic, or even a troll. Oh, how it has changed the entertainment game. First off, let's talk about how we consume entertainment today. No longer are we bound by TV schedules, or cinema timings. Platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube have opened many doors for content creation. And just about anyone with a smartphone can produce and upload content. These platforms have spawned entirely new genres of entertainment from unboxing videos and mukbangs to ASMR and short-form storytelling. It's a smorgasbord of creativity available 24-7. The concept of virality has changed and redefined stardom. You can go to bed as an average Joe and wake up as an internet sensation. And with the rise of influencers, we see regular folks becoming not just celebrities, but also entrepreneurs, brand ambassadors. The fan experience has also dramatically changed. Social media allows unprecedented interaction between creators and their audience, whether it's Twitter's Q&As, Instagram live sessions, or YouTube premieres. Fans can engage in real time with their favorite artists, authors, and influencers. But this has a dark side. It's not all rainbows and viral dance routines. Social media has its dark corners. Misinformation can spread like wildfire, and cyberbullying remains a pressing issue. Just like any form of entertainment, the social media landscape has its challenges that we as a digital society need to address. So there you have it. Social media, the new frontier in entertainment. It's a double-edged sword offering incredible opportunities for creativity and connections, but also presenting new challenges that are uniquely 21st century. Another area we are going to take a quick look at is news and information. It's safe to say that the way we consume news have evolved beyond recognitions in just a few decades. Remember newspapers? Those things that would magically appear on your doorstep in the morning. Digital news platforms have changed everything. Websites and apps allows us to customize our news experience. 
want to see what happens in the tech world, but couldn't care less about sports. There's a filter for that. Moreover, news breaks faster online. In a world that's increasingly interconnected, you can know about an event halfway around the world within minutes of its happening. And let's not forget the influence of social media here. Citizen journalism has gained prominence, empowering individuals to report news as they see it. This, of course, has its pros and cons. It makes news more democratic but also opens the door to misinformation. Podcasts and email newsletters are also joining the mix, offering deeper dives into topics that traditional media might not cover as thoroughly. Whether you're commuting, working out, or doing chores, you can stay informed. Now, here is a futuristic twist. AI. News agencies are already using AI algorithms to generate basic news reports, particularly for data-heavy fields like financial news. But what does that mean for the future of journalism? Well, that's still up for debate. With great power comes great responsibilities, and the digital era has its own set of challenges, such as fake news and deep fakes. Technology has made it easier to fabricate information and harder to verify it. As consumers, critical thinking and media literacy are more important than ever. And now, let's get physical and jump into the world of sports. Ah, sports. The thrill of the game. The roar of the crowd. The smell of digital interface. Yep, you heard me right. The way we engage with sports has evolved dramatically thanks to technology. And it's not just for athletes. Let's kick off with something that changed the game. Quality, literally. Instant replays and video assistant referee, VAR. These technologies provide a second look at critical moments, ensuring that the right calls are made. It's game-changing. But also... Not without controversy. Purists argue that it takes away from the human element of the sport. In terms of athletic performances, wearables and advanced monitoring systems have taken things to a new level. Athletes can now get real-time data on their vitals, performance metrics, and even fatigue levels, which aids in better training and recovery. VR and AR are also making waves. Imagine strapping on a VR headset to practice that slam dunk or perfect that golf swing. AR is used in broadcasting to overlay stats and graphics during live games, enriching the viewing experience. And let's not forget esports, a genre that has exploded in popularity. Once relegated to the fringes, competitive gaming is now mainstream, with tournaments offering multi million dollar prize pools. And yes, for the skeptical boomer out there, eSport athletes do train 
rigorously. Streaming services has made it easier than ever for fans to catch their favorite game live, no matter where they are in the world. Apps and social media allow for an interactive fan experience, from live polls to fantasy leagues. So there you have it, sports in the digital age. A landscape enriched by technology, but also facing new questions about ethics and the spirit of the game. And now it's time to be a bit serious, but in a good way. Technology is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for both good and bad. As we enjoy the convenience and excitement it brings to entertainment, we should also be mindful of some of the ethical dilemmas involved. And that's what we're going to look at next. First up, let's talk about data privacy. Our digital footprint is more like a digital tattoo these days. Permanent and telling. Streaming services, social media platforms, and even online games collect heaps of data about us. How is this data used? And who has access to it? Questions we must keep on asking. Then there is the question about accessibility. Not everyone has access to high-speed internet or the latest gadgets. As more entertainment moves online, what does that mean for people who can't afford these technologies or who live in areas where access is limited. Intellectual property is another hot topic. As content creation becomes more democratized, it's easier than ever to share or steal someone's work. How do we balance the open culture of the internet with respect for creators' rights? And then we have screen addiction. Our incessant need to scroll, click and swipe. What's the impact on our mental health? Especially for the young generation. The lines between the digital world and reality can sometimes get blurred. And let's not forget the ethical decisions in journalism. The race for clicks can sometimes overshadow the importance of accuracy, leading to misinformation. How do we maintain the integrity of our information sources in the digital age? These are complex questions without an easy answer. But as consumers and citizens of the digital world, it's our responsibility to engage in these conversations and think critically about the technology we use. I hope that today's episode not just entertained you, but also made you think. Technology is indeed a double-edged sword bringing the incredible benefits and posing significant challenges. As we navigate this fascinating landscape, it's our collective responsibility to use technology wisely and ethically. Today, I used very broad brush strokes to talk about these different parts of entertainment. And if you are interested in me doing a deep dive to any of the areas I talked about today, 
let me know in the comments down below. A big thanks to you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to the Geeky Boomer wherever you listen to podcasts. In my next episode, we're going to explore the intersection of art and technology. And if you want to make sure you don't miss that, hit the subscribe button under this video and turn on the little notification bell so you will be notified when I publish. Until next time, keep your minds open, your gadgets charged, and your hearts curious. Signing off, this is Pixel Pia for The Geeky Boomer, where H is just a number, but a good story is timeless. Bye!